Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I'm doing 10 cards, one kit um, with the Simon Says Stamp May 2018 card kit. This is the Kind Heart card kit. And normally when I do the Simon kits, I do 10 cards um, in one video, but my video ran really long. So what I'm going to do today is basically split it into two. And I'll leave a link at the end of the video to where part two is. It just made it easier for me to um, make a comprehensive video for you guys. But let's take a look. You always get an inspiration sheet here and then also a supply list. Everything's listed on the below bottom here of the supply list. And this month's kit, you get a sheet of Simon Says Stamp masking paper. It's an eight and a half by 11. So it's a full sheet. Looking forward to trying this out. You just peel off the backing and then you get your cardstocks. You get an Audrey Blue, an Ivory, and then the orange is orange peel. <laughs> so you get three cardstocks. And then also you get your pattern paper. This is from Pink Fresh Studios. It's the Let Your Heart Decide collection. Beautiful array of pattern papers, florals, stripes, um, a lot of little icon elements. But this is going to be real fun and pretty colors to create cards with. And you get 16 of these and they are single sided. Okay, there's your pattern paper. Now this is, let's see, your puffy stickers. You get a full sheet of puffy stickers and it's from the same collection from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, let your heart decide. And then you also get a, a epoxy heart sticker sheet from the same collection. So every co everything coordinates beautifully, which is lovely. And then since you only get three pieces of cardstock, they included um, three of these smoke colored cardstocks that are pre-scored and folded. Well, not they're not folded, you fold them. <laughs> but you just fold them and then you use your one folder to crease the edge and you have three of the smoke colored card bases and they're A2 sized here. Okay, next you get your, oh this is beautiful, this is your stamp set and it's super large, it's a 6 by 8 and it's a Simon exclusive called Everything Together. Along with that you get a smaller stamp set which is a Simon exclusive too called Take Heart, it's a 3 by 4 inch stamp set. You also get a metallic ivory envelope with a um, self closure there and then you get two dies. These are heart dies. Well, a sentiment die that spells out the word heart. I'm going to do that for you, show you what it looks like. But you get the word and then you get the shadow that goes behind it. So a really pretty font. You get your ink cubes. These are hybrid ink cubes um, from Simon Says Stamp. You get, I'm going to show you what colors they are. This is Audrey Blue. No, I'm sorry. This is a Spring Rain. Let's get that right. And this is a melon. So those are your ink cubes and they coordinate beautifully with all the papers in the kit. So this is everything that comes in the kit. Now let's just start our first card. For card number one, I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die. I'm placing it in the very center of the ivory cardstock. I just trimmed this down into a quarter size. Um, once I have that done, I'm going to leave the panel in there, flip it over and tape it to the back side. That way I know it's not going to move. Now we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to grab the beautiful flower, the largest flower in the stamp set. I'm also going to grab one of the smaller ones along with the smaller leaf. Now originally I was just going to stamp with my acrylic blocks, but you'll see here after I stamp the first one, well this is the melon, I'm going to use that for the smaller flower, but I did grab some hybrid inks from Simon that I had in my stash. These are actually from a previous kit but I really wanted a few different colors and this is a watermelon hybrid ink. But here I'm going to ink up my flower and then I want to stamp it. And it didn't stamp as solid as I liked it to. You can see it's, I wanted a more solid image. So I'm going to put the whole panel in my mini misty and I line my stamp back up and then I'm going to go over it again a few times just to get a solid crisp image. Okay, now I want to do a little bit of masking. I want to try out that masking paper. Now one thing I did notice about the masking paper is that it can get saturated very easily. 
I just um, trimmed mine in half so it was easier for me to, to cut down. But I'm going to stamp the large flower and the small flower on my masking paper. And I don't know if it was the, the hybrid inks, that the ink cubes were really juicy. So I'm thinking maybe it kind of just saturated the paper a little bit. But um, um, I think this masking paper is used, meant to be used once, basically. Okay, I just cut out my flowers. Now I'm going to take the largest flower mask and place that right over the top of my flower here. And then I'm going to go in with the melon ink. And I'm going to stamp the smaller flower to the left and the right of the larger flower. And I did later on end up stamping up in the top corner too. But I'm just going to take my mask and place that right on top. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp our leaves. For the leaves, I decided to use the Key Lime Hybrid ink that I had in my stash. I wanted a real bright, vibrant green, and so this worked out perfect. But any kind of green ink you have in your stash would work beautifully for the same effect. And I'm cleaning off my stamp really well, and I want to stamp it in the bottom corner here. And my mask is still on there. So I did that to all my flowers, and then I just peeled away the mask. And I think that looks so pretty. Now we need to stamp our sentiment. I wanted to use the huge, large, beautiful stamps set, or the sentiment that was in the stamp set. Um, it, it's gorgeous. It says, I wish you lived closer. Pretty sure we would do everything together. This is great for a crafting buddy or a family member. But um, I just stamped it with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink right in the center. And then what we're going to do is, uh, well, I, need, I used my heat tool to dry it a little bit because I was afraid the ink was still a little bit wet. But I flipped it over, removed the tape here, and then we have two separate panels. Now I wanted to give them my card, since this is a full card base coverage, I wanted to give my card a little bit of dimension. So how I'm going to do that is... Um, I'm a little ahead of myself. I just popped the frame part up with foam tape. Now this is going to create like a, um, a little bit, just going to give me a little bit of dimension for my card. I kind of got it just a slightly crooked, so I want to trim off the bottom. <laughs> okay, now for bells and whistles, I wanted to add some Nouveau Jewel Drops. This orange here is ripened pumpkin, and I'm just going to go add little dots around the large flower, and then I'm going to go in with some carnation pink around the small melon flowers. And that finishes off my first card. Now, for card number two, I'm taking this pattern paper, I trimmed it down, and I'm going to attach it to a strip of white cardstock. This is going to go all the way to the left of my card base. Um, before I popped that up, I did take a small circle die that was larger than the little puppy sticker that says it's all about you. I'm just going to create a half circle towards the bottom, lower portion of that pattern paper. I went ahead and added foam tape behind that and popped that up right all the way to the left of my panel on the Audrey Blue cardstock. Okay, let's add our little sentiment here. Now I know I wanted to add a little bit of accent with the flowers, so there's a leaf flourish. I'm going to add that, and, and then also a blue flower in the puffy stickers. I kind of wanted to arrange it around my little circle towards the bottom. And then I think I'm going to add the small gray heart that's in there. Lovely. 
Okay, bells and whistles. I did decide to use some confetti sequins. These are sequins without holes. These are actually from Pretty Pink Posh. Um, they're flat but super shiny. I added a few here and there and then took my white gel pen and ran around the sentiment just to bring in a little bit more of the white. And that is card number two. Now for my third card, I cut out a piece of the heart pattern paper. This panel is actually three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I'm going to actually um, cut it in half, but there's going to be like a one and a half inch gapping in the middle. I suppose you didn't have to do it like this. You could just cut strips, but I kind of wanted my pattern to flow evenly. So I just cut out the middle section, making sure that it was large enough so my sentiment would fit in that area. For this card, I'm using the smoke cardstock. My panels are going to go there. So I'm just kind of going to place them evenly and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now for this card, I chose Let's Catch Up Soon in the larger stamp set. I used my anti-static powder tool in my Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp that towards the right. And then I'm going to heat emboss that with some Simon Says Stamp a Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. I think the white against the gray looks so beautiful. Now I'm going to grab my heat gun and we're just going to melt that embossing powder. Okay, let's add some foam tape behind our pattern paper and lift that up to give our card a little bit of dimension. Now I'm not sure if the kit sold out or not, but I'll leave a link in the description area for you guys, as always. But um, this was a really fun kit. I really like the floral uh, images and the, the sentiments. But I just popped that up and placed it directly on my card base. Now I'm going to take the epoxy stickers and I'm going to find the, the hearts that kind of coordinate and are the same size as the hearts that are um, on the bottom pattern paper and on the top. I wanted them kind of overhanging a little bit just to give it a little bit of interest. And these epoxy hearts are actually pretty heavy. They actually really made my card um, feel uh, sturdy and durable, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So it's a, it was a weighted card, but it was very, very pretty and shiny. I added one heart right next to my sentiment. And I like those epoxy dots because they do have gold accents in them, which make it really pretty. But here's a close up. Okay, now for card number four, I'm taking a piece of white card stock here. I have a, this is a scalloped rectangle die. I think it's an MFT die. But I'm going to cut out basically a frame. So I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and place that right in the center. And this is going to actually create a real pretty scalloped edge frame. I've been doing this a lot lately and I really like the effects that this gives. <laughs> now I decided to use this pattern paper. And I wanted, I know I wanted the white towards the top, so I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim around it. That's going to be my background for my window. Okay, now we need a sentiment. So I wanted to use the amazing and the puffy stickers, but I, I needed to finish off the sentiment. So I'm going to use the UR and this sentiment down here. I'm just going to mask off the rest of it and ink up the UR with some VersaFine ink and stamp that towards the top. That way I have a, real, a complete sentiment. But the amazing in the puffy stickers is very colorful and so I thought that would look really nice. Okay. Now I did lift up my frame with some foam tape and stuck it down to my pattern paper. And then since this is going to go across my frame, I'm going to add a piece of uh, foam tape right in the center. This gives my puffy sticker a little bit of stability when it goes across the entire frame. 
Okay, I think that looks amazing. <laughs> okay, now let's add a few little elements. I wanted to add the little books with the little plants on top. And then I thought about using the other little planter. But I just thought the coffee cup would go perfect here. So I'm going to add that in our little scene. And then there's a little sheet of um, notebook paper. I'm going to add that in the bottom corner too. I was going to add typewriter, but the thought was just too much. Now I had add some, use my tape runner and I was going to add it to my white card base. This is the one I pulled from my stash, but I decided let's add a little bit of color. So, well, not really color. We're going to add some black. I grabbed the long uh, stitch line and I'm going to place it on my, my acrylic block here. I'm going to use my VersaFine ink. And at first I was just going to do like three or four lines on the, towards the bottom of my, my card base here. And then I thought, well, this was a little too easy and too fun. So I thought, well, I'm going to just go crazy. I'm going to do the whole panel here, or actually it's not a panel. It's my card base. So for this one, I just stamped four in a row and then I went up like an inch and stamped a couple more. I'm going to create a real pretty plaid. And then once that's done, I'm going to turn it to the side and add a few stripes this way. Very easy to do kind of creating your own pattern paper here. <laughs> Since my sentiment was black, I thought that this would be a real nice accent and everything would flow really nice together. So that's my card base. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of my tape runner on the back. Stick that down. <laughs> Excuse me. And then that is card number four. Okay, now moving along to my final card for part one. Um, now again, part two is right at the end. So um, I just had to split it into two videos, guys. But I want to use this pattern paper on the smoke card base. Now I'm also going to use um, a piece of white cardstock. And I wanted to stamp the sentiment that says, You win the award for being the most awesome person I know. Now originally I stamped it with my um, intense black ink and it wasn't as crisp as I wanted. So I changed my mind and I'm going to just turn it to the side and stamp that same sentiment with my VersaFine ink. I just have the best luck with my VersaFine. <laughs> I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that out leaving a little bit of a white border. Now with using the same cardstock, I'm gonna I grabbed like a sun, a sun die for my stash, and so I'm gonna cut out a, basically a white sun, but I made sure that this die actually fit the the good puffy sticker fit inside of this die here, so that's gonna work out great. I'm just gonna die cut that out. Lovely. We're gonna add our puffy sticker that says good. I wanted to create kind of like an, an award banner, um, award banner. I, it's not really a banner. It's a an award thingy, my jigger. How about that? <laughs> and I also cut out a scalloped edge. I'm using one of my scallop dies that fit um, right on the outside of my sun. So using this pattern paper here, I'm going to cut out a three quarter inch strip of the lighter yellow on on that pattern paper there and then I'm um, for this one it's a 5 8 inch strip using the green on the lighter side and I fishtailed the ends now I'm going to add some foam tape behind the good here and pop that up right in the center and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of arrange my banners I was going to add three and then uh, I thought that was a little too much so we're just going to add two Using my tape runner, I'm going to layer them together. I'm going to trim it down a little bit more, and then I'm going to add some tape and stick down my good. And then I have a nice little award, and I think that will go really good with the sentiment. Now, taking my tape runner, I'm going to adhere this pattern paper. Um, this pattern paper is three and a half inches by four and three quarters, so it's going to leave me a nice smoke-colored edge on my card base. And I popped up both my elements and stuck them, stuck them down there. 
I'm going to add the two of the black hearts that are in the puffy stickers. Okay, now down on the bottom here, there is one solid puffy sticker. I thought I'm going to use that one. It has a little bit of yellow in it. And originally I was going to stick it under there, but it was just off balance for me. So I'm going to take my scissors and trim it down. And I'm going to kind of extend the sticker by sticking it underneath my little award there. I just have to make sure it's even and then it looks like it's a longer sticker. <laughs> now for um, a little added detail, I did decide to go in with my glossy accents right over the sentiment that says you win the award for being the most awesome person I know. I thought it being really shiny would add a nice little accent. And then the puffy stickers were a little bit of a matte finish, so I went over the puffy stickers with glossy accents. But I think that, that turned out really pretty, and that finishes off that card. Okay, now here's a look at the five cards that I made today. Um, again, on the very end, the link for part two is there for you guys if you're interested. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a fantastic day and we will see you again soon.